Hey everyone, the video game lover here, and I want to make a quick video. I want to show you guys why it's so important to hack a PSP. Well, I know a lot of people use PSPs to play retro video games and all that, but one of the best things about a hacked PSP is if you press the select button, you get a menu. And then if you could see... You will see CPU clock XMB and CPU clock game. Right now it's at default. What this is, it actually makes the game run smoother. Now, if it's in default, it's the same, you know, regular game. But if you put these two in 333-166, it makes the game run very smooth. So first, I'm just going to show you what's it like in its default status. So... First off, Coded Arms Contagion, which is the sequel to Coded Arms. This game is notorious of having awful frame rate. And the reason for that was because they made the levels a lot bigger. So I'm going to cut to where we get to the game, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so here's Coded Arms. What's the first thing you notice? Okay, we don't need that. What's the first thing you notice right here? The frame rate is extremely choppy. Look how choppy this frame rate is. Okay? Yeah, it's pretty not not very playable, right? So, now what we're going to do is we're going to speed up the CPU. Like, raise it up to the 366. So, I'm back at the menu. So, now we're going to move it to... 333 by 166. Wow, I was way off. So, now it's at 333. Watch what happens when we get back to that level. Alright, so we're back at level 3. Now you notice a major difference, right? It's more smoother. You see that? Now the frame rate is still a little bit iffy because that's the game. But it is nowhere near as bad as it once was. So now, the next game I really want to show you guys a perfect example of this is Ghost in the Shell. So let's ch check out Ghost in the Shell. Alright, so. So this is Ghost in the Shell. It runs a lot better than uh, Coded Arms. But it still has its moments of frame rate dipping. So let me see when we get to more enemies. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. It's kind of hard doing this uh, in camera. But yeah. So it runs pretty smooth. But now I'm going to show you when it's at its highest clock speed. So we're back. So this is Ghost of the Shell on its highest speed. It definitely moves a little bit more smoother. So although the game ran fairly smooth on its normal setting, it's a lot smoother when it's at the highest setting. This is one of the main re many reasons why I highly recommend hacking a PSP. It's because it actually improves the frame rate of a, many games. Now, some could say, well, why not the Vita? The Vita does um, improve the frame rate sometimes, but sometimes it's still not as good as a hacked PSP. So, it runs a lot smoother. I don't know why the heck I was, you know, doing this. I gotta do it like this, sorry. But yeah, it runs a lot smoother. Also, the load times are slightly faster than what they are normally. So that's really nice. But yeah, that is one of the main reasons why. I'm talking now, I'm talking mainly talking about, you know, playing it poorly. You know what I'm saying? I know some are saying, why not play it on the emulator? Yes, emulators. PSP games on emulators run amazing, and they look gorgeous. But if you want to play PSP games on the go, and they run very well, this is the best way to do it. So that's what I want to show you guys. 
um, why is it so important that play have a hacked uh, PSP is so it improves the frame rate of many PSP games. Mainly in particular shooting games like first person shooters and third person shooters. It makes the games run a lot smoother. So thank you guys for watching this video. And yeah, Lokito was uh, lying down. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.